we already know what are finite sets finite sets are those sets of whose elements we can count now today we learn what are the types of finite sets look at these three fish bowls what difference do you observe in this bowl we can see there are many number of fishes what about this bowl you can see that there is only one fish and in this bowl there are no fishes now let's take a closer look if we count the number of fishes in these bowls we can see that there are 1 2 3 4 5 fishes now what about this bowl this bowl has only one fish and what about this bowl this bowl has zero number of fishes so in bowl 2 we can see that there is only one element so this will be called a singleton set why singleton because this bowl has only single element or one element so it is called a singleton set now what about this bowl this bowl has no element so this set will be called an empty set now here we have cricket players who have played for india here we have players who have played for england and here we have players who have played for australia now if i ask you name the set of players who have played for both australia and england have a look here now jj ferris he has played both for england and australia so we can write here jj ferris now we have one more player who has played both for england and australia a e trot now now if i ask you name a set of players who have played for both india and england have a look which player has played both for india and england nawab patodi so we can write his name here now a set of players who have played for both india and australia can you see any player who has played both for india and australia here no there is not even a single player here so we will leave this bracket empty so as we saw before a set of players who have played both for india and england contains only one element that is contains only one cricketer so this set has only single element so which set is this this set will be called singleton set now what about this a set of players who have played for both india and australia we had already seen there were no players who had played for both india and australia and so we had to keep this bracket empty so this is called an empty set now let's study more about singleton set a singleton set is a finite set containing only one that is a single element which is called a singleton set just like this in this bowl we can see there is only one fish so there is only one element so that is why this is a singleton set now a set e of whole numbers less than 1 what are the whole numbers less than 1 whole numbers start from 0 and so the whole numbers less than 1 will be the only the element 0 so here we have the element 0 in the bracket so this is a singleton set 
as it contains only one element. Note that 0 here is an element, 0 is not the number of elements here. Now, set A of days of the week starting with F. Name the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, which day starts with the letter F? Friday. So, we have only one element here. So, this is also a singleton set. Now, what about empty set? A finite set that contains zero number of elements or no elements is called an empty, null or void set. These are the names of empty set. It is denoted by the symbol null. This is the symbol by which we denote it. Just in this example, this is a bowl which contains no fish. So, here the number of fishes is 0. So, this is an empty set. Now, more examples of an empty set are a set of natural numbers between 3 and 4. Are there any more natural numbers between 3 and 4? No. A set of students of your school having two horns and a tail. Do you have any student in your class who is having two horns and a tail? No. So, this is an empty set. Now, a set of students in your class who have height more than 10 feet. Now, I don't think you have any student in your class who is having height more than 10 feet. So, this is also an empty set. Now, let's observe some differences here. Here, A is equal to a null sign or an empty bracket. Now, what does an empty bracket denotes? An empty set. So, here A is an empty set as it is a null sign or an empty bracket. It contains no elements inside its bracket. Now, what about B? Now, here is B an empty set? No, empty set is either denoted by a null sign or an empty bracket, but not both. Here you can see that the curly bracket has one element inside it. So, this is not an empty set. Now, what about C? Here it is clearly stated that C is equal to 0. C has no elements in it. So, this is an empty set. Now, what about D? Is D an empty set? No. Empty set is denoted by empty brackets. Here, 0 is an element inside the empty bracket. So, we cannot say that D is an empty set because 0 may denote anything. Like 0 denotes whole numbers less than 1. So, this could be the answer of one of our questions. So, this is not an empty set. Now, you answer. Set A of all even prime numbers. Is it singleton or empty? Now, let's solve it. So, A here refers to all even prime numbers. First of all, let's state what are the prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. How many prime numbers do you see here which are even? Here, I can see only 2, which is even. All others are odd, because any other even number would be divisible by 2. So, they are not prime numbers. So, 2 is the only prime number, which is even. So, here, A is 2. So, we can see that this set contains only one element. So, this is a singleton set. Now, set B of natural numbers less than 1. First of all, let's take the natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Can you see any natural number here which is less than 1? No, because 
whole number start from 0 and natural number start from 1. So, there is no natural number below 1. So, here we can say that B is an empty set, it has no elements or it can be denoted as a null sign. So, this set is an empty set.